Welcome to Highways News. My name is Suresh Kochatel. The Union Budget 2020 is almost here. And today, the Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman, presented the Economic Survey 2019-20 in the Parliament. Some of the key highlights of the Economic Survey include a look at India's economic performance in 2019-20. Here are the few highlights. India's GDP moderated to about 4.8% in H1 of 2019-20 amidst a weak environment for global manufacturing, trade and demand. Real consumption growth has recovered in Q2 of 2019-20, cushioned by significant growth in government's final consumption. Growth for agriculture and allied activities and public administration, defense and other services in H1 of 2019-20 was higher in H2 of 2018-19. India's external sector gained further stability in H1 of 2019-20. Let's look at the current account deficit, which narrowed down to about 1.5% of GDP in H1 of 2019-20 from about 2.1% in 2018-19. The impressive foreign direct investment continues. The rebounding of portfolio of inflows actually is getting good. The accretion of foreign exchange reserves is better. There is a sharper contraction of the imports as compared to that of exports in H1 of 2019-20 with the easing of crude prices. Headline inflation is expected to decline by the year end. Inflation increased by from 3.3% in H1 of 2019-20 to about 7.35% in December 2019-20 due to temporary increase in food inflation. Rise in CPI core and WPI in December 2019-20 suggests a building up of demand pressure. The deceleration of GDP is a cause of worry. And within the framework of cyclic growth that's happening, the financial sector acted as a drag on the real estate sector. And that is actually showing up in the investment, growth and consumption of this sector. Reforms undertaken during 2019-20 to boost investment, consumption and exports is up. The speeding up of the insolvency and bankruptcy code actually actually enabled banks to get back a lot of the money that was locked up in bad debts. Easing of credit, particularly of the stressed real estate sector and NBFCs are happening. The finance minister had earlier announced a national infrastructure pipeline which will go on from 2019 to 2025 and is expected to boost the core sector growth. The survey expects an uptick in GDP growth of in H2 of 2019-20. 5% of GDP growth for 2019-20 is based on CSO's first advance estimates. The expeditious delivery on reforms for enabling the economy to strongly rebound in 2021. Let's look at the fiscal developments. Revenue receipts registered a higher growth in the first eight months of 2019-20 compared to the same period last year, led by a considerable growth in non-tax revenue. Gross GST monthly collections have crossed the mark of 1 lakh crore for a total of five times during 2019-20 and we are talking only up to December 2019. The structural reforms undertaken in taxation during the current financial year includes change in corporate tax rate, measures to ease the implementation of GST, fiscal deficit of states within the targets set out by the FRBM Act. The survey also notes that the general government sent up less states has been on the path of fiscal consolidation. Now let's look at the external sector. The balance of payments has improved from US 412 billion foreign exchange reserves in the end of March 2019 to about US 433.7 billion by end of September 2019. The current account deficit narrowed down from 2.1% in 2018-19 to 1.5% of GDP in H1 2019-20. The foreign exchange reserves have further improved and now stands at 461.2 billion as of 10th January. 2020. The global trade, which has been taking a huge hit, is now expected to sink in with an estimated 2.9% growth in global output in 2019. Global trade is estimated to grow at 1.0% after having peaked in 2017 at 5.7%. However, it's projected to recover to 2.9% in 2020 with a recovery in global economic activity. India's merchandise trade balance improved from 2009-14 to 2014-19 on the most of the improvement in the later half of the period due to the more than 50% decline in crude prices in 2016-17. India's top five trading partners continue to be USA, China, UAE, Saudi Arabia and Hong Kong. 
The top export items include, of course, petroleum products, precious stones, drug formulations and biologicals, gold and other precious metals. Largest export destination as of April, November 2019-20 was USA followed by UAE, China and Hong Kong. The merchandise exports to GDP ratio declined, entailing a negative growth on the BPU position. Slowdown of the world output had an impact on reducing the export to GDP ratio, particularly from 2018-19 to H1 of 2019-20. Thank you for watching.